Okay, hello again. It's your favorite YouTube couple, Claire and Drew. And we are back in my office. And that means one thing. I have horns. We have, she has horns. But we are reacting to a very interesting topic today. Babe, what are we reacting to? We are reacting to what old inventions used to look like, but what they look like now. What? Boom, exactly. We found a little website that is showing all the first editions of inventions that we use all day, every day. Uh, I'm getting choked up. It's a little emotional. And yeah, we don't know what the thing is. It's going to give us a little description at the end, but we want to try to guess what it is because I'm assuming yeah. they're going to look way different today or back then than they do today. So let's go look at these things. Okay, here is the first invention. Um, you guys got to play along too. You guys got to try to guess what you think this is. Babe, what do you think this is? It looks old and it looks boring. So I think it's a shotgun shell. Okay, interesting. Kind of like, you know, like it's like flat. Oh, 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 I have a different guess. Wait, let me guess. Claire said it looks old and boring. I'm going, it's Claire. The first edition of Claire. <laughs> I think it's like a stethoscope. No, a dang telescope? it, that's the wrong word. A stethoscope? Isn't that what they do to your heart? Oh my God. A telescope, you know, like a one eye. Yeah. That's I, what I think it is. I think this is gonna be some sort of silencer for a gun, but I don't know for sure. All right, what is it? This is apparently one of the first ever invented microscopes. <gasps> I was close. Yeah, why'd you say stethoscope and then well, you just gave I up? Didn't, no, I said, I said, I think that it's a thing. I know, but you gave up and you said a, what did you say, a shotgun shell? No, no, that's what I said first, and then I said that I think it's a, a telescope. That's kind of like a microscope. Did you guys get this right? Let us know in the comment section below. Okay, now I hope <laughs> everyone can get this right. I think we both know what this is, and we're gonna say it on the count of three. One, three, a bike. State. A bike. I was kidding, obviously. I'm not an idiot. But imagine cruising to, like, the Dairy Queen down the road in this bad boy. Wait, how do you... S I'm confused. The longer you look at it, the more it just doesn't make sense. Where's the steering wheel? And why is there two seats? I think the steering wheel is the front of it, like that little, like, little handle thing. I think you turn that... And I feel like you sit with your elbows on the mat or your chest maybe on the mat like this. I don't know. Do you pump it? Cause I there's don't no know. like there's no uh, like pedals. I don't know, but maybe you just go down. Maybe you just go down. I don't know. Okay, now I think we know what this is as well, and we can all agree on the count of three. Three, two, one. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Yes, but I think this one is like one of the bougie ones back in the day, where wow. it comes with a fridge and a freezer. Ooh. This is an ice box because before electric refrigerators, which is oh. what we have today, these were filled with wood and ice. Oh wait, no, they were made out of wood and filled with, with ice. ice. I wonder how well that kept at keeping the food, you know, cold. Like the food probably went bad all the time and then they ate nasty food all the time. Or maybe they just ate out all the time. God, I wish I was born back then, dang it. Okay, now this looks like something we would see in Breaking Bad. I don't think I've gone to that part yet. I think you have because I'm talking about them making the, don't say it because I don't want to cop, I don't want to get demonetized, but in Breaking Bad, you know, when they make um oh. the blue stuff. Yeah. Tell me that doesn't look like something they would be using. No. Oh, like an upside down beaker or something? Yes, something like that. But what what do you think? I'm, I'm assuming. It's a light bulb. Yeah, I'm assuming this is like the, the, the light bulb, but yeah, it's definitely the light bulb. Thomas Edison. It's a light bulb. Boom. The light so bulb. exciting. Let there be light. Okay, now this one's interesting. Is this a camera or is this a video camera? Like, let's be real. This guy looks like he's taking a video camera or he's recording some sort of something. But I think it might be a camera. What do you think it is? I think it's the film. Like the film in the camera. So what? A video camera? Yeah, like the film. Oh, it's just the film part of it. Like, I think they're talking about the film. Okay. This is kind of a weird picture because we don't really know what we're looking at. I think it's the first ever video camera. I think it's the film. Okay, let's find out. It says, George Eastman and Thomas Edison helped create the film industry with their motion picture equipment. So what is this? Invented the camera box in 1888 and roll film in 1889. So it was both. It was the film and the camera box. So we both were right. That was... <laughs> That was not a fake noise. I know you might think that was an edited noise. It was real AF. Now here we have another one that is too obvious to uh, to miss here. Clearly that is a telephone. telephone. 
Yeah, that's a telephone. Imagine calling up the boys. Hey, you guys want to come watch the Broncos game? I got some chicken wings. You can call them up on one of the little and, you know, imagine that. And let me know if you guys have used or one of these Or imagine like when you were a kid and you would like, the only way to reach people would you have to call their house and mm. then you'd be like, can I talk? Hi. We used to have to do that. Not to date ourselves, but we did have to do that. I never had to do that because I was playing Xbox back in the day. But yeah, when I was a kid, we used walkie talkies to communicate. Like we literally bought walkie talkies with like four mile range. We're like, uh, you wanna go play kickball uh, over? <laughs> uh, sorry man, my mom's being a little jerk. Just making me do my homework. Now this one kind of sucks because it says it right in the middle of the screen. It's a vacuum. I was gonna say ice cream truck. I was gonna say like a popcorn machine. <laughs> the popcorn machine actually could work. It looks like that, doesn't it? That honestly- I do not understand at all how that's a vacuum. Imagine that your mom goes, Hey, guy, I need you to, to do the sweep the floors. And you pull out the vacuum. vacuum. Oh, I hate that. Andrew's family calls a vacuum a sweeper. Which is what it's called. It's called a vacuum. You're sweeping the floor. No, a sweeper would be with a broom. You sweep the floors with a broom. You vacuum the floors with a vacuum. Whatever. And yeah, we just realized Claire Bear had something stuck in her teeth. So if you guys saw that, shout out to you. Okay. My first thought is a pasta maker. I literally was going to say the same thing. <laughs> but then it's like, why would you need the thing on the bottom? That reminds me of to like To catch a, the pasta. That reminds me of like a popcorn thing. Why does everything remind me of popcorn? It looks like a popcorn. I have no idea what this is. Maybe like a... Nope, don't know. Pizza roller. Ooh. I have no idea. Not the slightest clue. All right, what is it? Uh, This is the first... A washing machine. Electric washing machine. Mother of God. I don't know how that works, but I'm not interested because then that would require me having to do my laundry, which I don't do. Okay, now this one I, I'm assuming is, ooh, could this be a medical device of some sort? Ooh, like a, like um, a, heart, a rate. heart rate. Yeah, a heart rate monitor, heart maybe. Um, it looks like it could be like a game maybe with like those controls. But no, then it's, it's like, not a game. I know, that's, I know that's not a game. Is it a... What the F is that? I've never seen something with all those like... Buttons? Like that looks like an ox jack. Yeah, like it, like... it kind of does. A karaoke machine. They, I don't think they was doing karaoke back in the 12s. This guy's old. This guy was born in 12. Just 12. Not 1912. Not 12. 19 or 2012. This guy was just 12. But yeah, this has got to be some sort of medical device, yeah. I think, with all the ports I think and a stuff. heart rate monitor. Mm, that's a good one. All right, let's see. What's it say? Television. That was the first television? How in the heck is that a television? It was called the Octagon. It was made by General Electric in 1928. Why is that called the Octagon? It's not know. even an octagon. Okay, yeah, I already know what this one is. Oh, Claire, do ya? Do you know what this one is? Yeah. What is it? It's a computer. It is a computer. These, um, I forget what it used to be called. The, it says it's the ENIAC, I think, the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, I'm <gasps> assuming. I made you watch a movie about this. You know how much this computer costs to make? Take a guess, even though you're reading it. She's not even trying to look away. $400,000. This thing costs $400,000 to make. But something crazy though is, you know what like a gigabyte looks like nowadays? Yeah. It's like a little memory stick. Like apparently like a megabyte or yeah, something was, was like, like, like as big as a like shopping mall. this ball. right here is way more power than that whole room. So you children who are ungrateful for your cell phones, you didn't even know what it was like to live in the 1946s. Here we go. I know what it is. This is something that fell out of a no, first edition is. space shuttle back in 1926. I don't know because look, you can see the film. See the film or like oh, some wow. kind of tape. Is oh, it look, there's another one on the other side. What? what? A musical iPod? MP3. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. This looks like a movie prop from Star Trek. I have no I know, idea what it this is. It looks like it should be on a spaceship. Yeah, I have sure. no idea. What does this say it is? It is the first videotape recorder. Oh, Wait. wow. This video recorder sold for $50,000. What is a video recorder? I know. That's confusing. Like a camcorder? Yeah, like I don't know. What does How, that mean? What do you carry that around? Okay. Is this... I can't tell if this is big or like a... I know it looks small. like a small metal ball that's being flung by something. Like, oh, like a... Uh, uh, a Quidditch? Uh, a slingshot ball. Yeah. You think that's a slingshot ball? No. I don't know. Like, I, if I knew the size of this thing, I think I might be able to do this better. I know, but just like the black background isn't really giving us much context. I'm going out on a, on a limb or a whim. Is it a limb? A whim. 
limb. A limb? I don't know what it is. I'm saying this is the first ever robot. I don't know. Like maybe that controls it and those are the legs. I don't know. That could be it. I have not the slightest clue what that is. The size of it is kind of throwing me off. Babe, what do you think? A slingshot. But let's see. This is the first satellite. And it was the size of a beach ball. How is that possible? It was about the size of a beach ball and orbited the earth in 98, 98 minutes. minutes. I have no idea if that's real or fake but there you go incredible well there you guys have it we looked at some inventions that are totally different today than they were back then like imagine just using a computer that you had to walk into walmart <laughs> like a building the size of walmart to send a tweet imagine that what was the most shocking for you babe the slingshot no the most shocking for me was the video recorder. I just don't get it. Yeah, that how, does still, that, how did that work? Yeah, that one still doesn't make sense to me. But if you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. You stole my thing. Sucks for you. You should have said it first. Abyss. You stole my thing. Well, you stole mine. Goodbye. <laughs>